Hello and welcome back to another Cascado tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to check out how we can import animations from the Unreal Engine 4 into Cascader. Then we can edit them or change them accordingly and then we can re-import them back into Unreal Engine. Of course re-importing them into Unreal Engine is a video that I already covered. You can check that in this playlist and let's get to it. For example, in, I can show you right away what we're going to do and for example I have this primary attack this paragon character and what I did is because I couldn't import this character because it has extra bones so I had to retarget it to the unreal character here and then imported that into Cascadeur so there we are where well, we have a rig and we can control and change things like for example the fingers as you can see that character only has three fingers so the fingers come out like this so to fix stuff like that you can use this this system or to change for example the the run animation and as you can see there's a pro some problems here with this run animation when I imported it and I'll go through uh, how you can fix that as well okay so the animation I selected for this tutorial is going to be the Grooks character from Paragon characters and this is the animation right here just simple and fast now, the reason why I can't just export this out is because this character has uh, more bones than the... Um, as you can see, there are some bones here that the default mannequin doesn't have. So he has two here for the chest, two here for the back, then he has these ones for, the, um, for this cloth that he has hanging out. So I can't really just pick this up and select this skeleton like this. So I have to retarget it to the UE4 mannequin first. So if I open up my content browser and I could press Ctrl B, it's going to browse to that file. And I right click on that file and I just go to retarget and duplicate anim assets and retarget. And I'll select, select the UE4 mannequin skeleton. So if if you can't do this if there's no the list doesn't populate here let me just go back and show you what you can do uh, if you have to open up the skeleton for this character so if you press skeleton here and go to the let me just move my window here and go to the retarget manager and if it's the paragon characters are usually have uh, the paragon proto retarget you have to change this to select humanoid rig okay once you do that it that list will populate okay so if I now go back to that list if I do this retarget duplicate this wouldn't populate if I haven't done that step so now I have the UA4 mannequin in this project so if I do a retarget now I can change the directory here so right now it's just gonna go to game so uh, I'll leave it at that let's retarget okay so now I have this animation here in game let me just put this aside and open it okay so now it's retargeted to my uh, UE4 mannequin right easy enough so if I just uh, pause this and I go to my first frame clicking this button to front now I could just export this as is uh, and then try to open it in Cascade but uh, most of the time that creates problems like I showed you in the beginning of the video like in this third person idol you can see that his arm is down here, his shoulder is popped off uh, the socket, uh, his left hand is out of place, and things like this can happen. So to avoid things like this to happen, we're going to record this animation. So if I go to the first frame here and I press record, and I choose a place to for my animation, I'll just choose this, I'll just call it a tech uppercase, and can be in the content, that's fine say okay now it's recording I have to press pause to unpause it because I had it paused and then stop okay so now I have a new animation if I go back to my content browser I have this attack animation we just recorded okay so if I open that up I'll, I'm gonna press control s uh, control shift s just to save everything and you can see that my animation starts there now I don't need these these morphs I'm not gonna um, export them anyway but just in case I'll remove all curves here and I'm looking for when the animation starts it starts around here 
So if I control and use my mouse wheel, I can zoom in on that. Okay, and now using the two next, I'll see where my character starts moving. It starts moving there, so I'll come back here. And sometimes uh, UB4 crashes, so make sure you save everything at this point. So right click and say remove from uh, frame 0 to this frame where I'm at, okay? So let's do that, let's see if it doesn't crash. No, it didn't, that's fine, okay. Probably because I saved it. Let's see where the animation ends. So the animation ends there and it restarts again. I'll add a few frames because I can't really tell where it repeats because this is a repeating animation, it can be looped. So I'll go a bit further and here I'll say remove from this frame up to the frame to the last frame. So let's do that. Boom. Yeah, there's a little repeat. We can fix that in Cascadeur. So now that we have this animation, I'm going to do a control S to save it or just press the save button on the left. You can't see it, but it's right there. You can so we save that and now we're ready to take this into the Cascadeur. Okay, so now I'm going to come here to export exit and I'm going to export animation data and a window will pop up asking you what the name of the, the file you want and where to save it. So press save and I've been exper experimenting with different settings and the, the ones that I've found that work best is this. Now force uh, X axis, I tried this before uh, hoping that the, the character would pop up uh, standing up, but it doesn't. Now everything else is unticked apart from export local time and export preview mesh. Why am I doing this? We'll see in, in once we get to Cascadeur. So let's just export it as is. Okay, now that's all we need to do here in Unreal. In Cascadeur, let's do a new scene. Okay, empty scene. And if I try to import my animation, it's just gonna give me an error. Even if I have the mannequin, the UE4 mannequin that they, they provide you with, uh, this animation is not, it's just gonna throw an error. So the first thing you gotta do is add the model. So we add model, and because we exported model with that animation, I can just select the animation, uh, attack, where is it, it's here, okay. So once I, I import this, I got my model there. And of course, I don't have any controls. I don't have re-controls. There's no re-controls. I do have joint mode. Okay, so it brings the skeleton, it brings the mesh. Now, I'm not going to fix its position right now because the animation is also going to come like this, in this direction, pointing, facing down. So first, what I'm going to do is I'm going to import now the animation. So import the same file as animation. Attack. Okay, now, now we have that attack right here. Okay, there's some root movement right there, but that, that thing, I believe this is part of this animation. Now that we have all these in place, I can just select this, and if I press this button here, I'll just see. Notice I selected all the frames, okay? Selecting all the frames. I'll press this button here so that I can edit all the frames at the same time. I'll select the skeleton, remember we're in skeleton mode. I'll select the skeleton, I'll go to settings and I press fix angle, 90 degrees is fine. So if I press E now to rotate, I'll rotate them like that to the proper uh, position. And now I have the animation going on right there. Okay, so if I play. Now one problem is that we still don't have uh, a rig. We can't do anything with this. Let me just press F here to remove that. Okay, so we don't have a rig. But remember on the on the last episode, working with two characters, I told you how you can import rigs and where you can find this file. I'll leave a link in the descrip description below. So you'll open up this file that I'll provide down. And once you open this, import rig, import this rig, you should have now a rig that you can control. And you can see that here is where where the animation starts repeating. Really easy to see here in Cascadeur, so I'm just going to remove those frames. Okay, brilliant. And now we can fix the ends. And while we're here at it, I can show you how you can fix the ends. Like, Cascadeur is still developing, so we don't have too many features, 
but we can work around them. For example, I have a file here, if I open it up, which is called end poses. So if I open this file up, notice that I have, I have different end poses in different frames here. Okay? And these are the only three that I created now. One for, for a gun, closed hands. Okay? So let's say I, I use this pose. If I want to use this pose. Right, I can go here into box, edit, double click this hand, copy, control C for copy, and if I come here and go into box edit, double click this hand, control V, oh, and I'm, I'm pasting the position in everything because here in the settings, the copier has everything selected, position, rotate, blah, blah. If I choose local, yes, yeah, sometimes, okay, if I use relative, I believe it will work. Okay, and it worked. Now I can grab the other end. So this is a two-in-one video, I guess. Grab these ends, and now I have those ends, the end poses. I don't have an end pose for uh, holding a weapon at the moment, so, but you get what I'm saying. You can have like a file where you have different end poses, and uh, you can also add new tracks and add some elements in there. And that's how you do it.